What would happen if the power system went dark? It's an incredibly unlikely event, but if it did occur, we'd initiate what we call a black star. As an industry, we put a lot of time and effort into preparing for if the worst should occur, whether that's an outage of one island or all of New Zealand. To ensure we're prepared, our control rooms in Auckland, Hamilton, Wellington and Christchurch recently came together with key black start generators Meridian and Contact, as well as our friends at TY, to test our systems and processes through a simulated exercise. Through a black start, we can get the power flowing by using key generators that can start up without being connected to the grid. From there, we can increase generation until we can restore power back to homes, businesses and major electricity users across New Zealand. Our generators at Roxburgh and Clyde are designed to start running without an external energy source. That makes us critical for getting those first electrons circulating throughout the system. When we work with our colleagues at Transpower to ramp up our output as major users like TY and lines companies around the country re-energise networks, exercises like this are key for our people to be able to effectively play our part. As Aotearoa's biggest user of electricity, New Zealand aluminium smelters at TY Point play an important role in getting a black start successfully up and running. Because we use 30% of New Zealand's electricity supply, we can absorb that initial surge of electricity and help Transpower safely restore supply into the network. I'd just like to say thanks to all our colleagues uh, from Contact Meridian and TY for taking part in today's exercise to ensure that we're ready should the worst eventuate. I would like to thank Transpower, Meridian and Contact Energy for participating in the Black Start simulation for 2025. It's been a real privilege.